Welcome back to more Project Hospital. My name is Tobo. We're picking up right where we left off from last episode. Lots of people coming into cardio with terrible, terrible heart problems. So I'm hoping that we can uh, get a lot of people queued up here. Whether, and you know what, honestly, if it's surgery or if it's just keeping them overnight, I'd be okay with either because it's going to get us money. And boy, do we need it. How are the other departments doing? I haven't really checked on anyone in a minute. What's the workload like down here? Medium across the board, low. That's good. Means we're doing what we need to be doing. Oh, by the way, I think we just got more sends, right? Yeah, one of the um, the previous liver TY objective was to increase our sends by 15, I think, by every day. So that's pretty great. Oh, wow. Uh, reach 80% prestige at the end of a day in emergency is going to give us a $50,000 grant, which should be relatively easy. Emergency always has really high numbers. So hopefully that'll take care of that. Wait, why, why radiology is so grumpy? You guys are always grumpy in radiology. What's going on here? Ugly environment still. Man, what is it with you in this ugly environment? Did I not put... Oh, you know what? I thought I put something down, but I didn't. I thought I put some walls or some windows over here. Let's uh, let's spruce it up. Oh, God, we're broke. Okay, never mind. We're not going to spruce that up. I won't take a loan just to do the windows. <laughs> I'll wait until we actually get um, some money in the bank. You... We're pretty much at noon, so you've got plenty of time to get jumped around if you need to. You have swollen eyelids, cluster headache. God, that's terrifying. Isn't the cluster headache like the suicide headaches? Extremely painful that only occurs on one side of the head. Or high, hypertensive retinopathy. Ooh, so how do we tell either of these? Okay, I'll tell you what. Both of them are neurology. So I'm going to refer this person to the neurological department. And they're going to have more specialized or, or various methods of, uh, of diagnosis. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. We keep losing patients to other hospitals. Hey, someone's collapsing. Hooray. <laughs> That's so exciting. Uh, oh, he's one of our help. He's one of our overnight patients. Boy, this guy got here quick. Holy crap. Good job, Frank Clark. So I guess that is what the overnight doctor would do. Same thing. They're going to basically come over here and uh, try to help out. So he's currently in heart failure. Although it looks like he's been, it's been suppressed. So he's safe for now. Hooray. Nice job, everybody. Keep this guy nice and safe. He is either currently being defibril defibrillated, defibrillated, or he has successfully been. I guess we just let have to let him stay on nitrates for a while. There's no way to suppress heart failure failure overall. I lo would love to see other symptoms though. Well, I guess we could. We could just check this. What else does he get? Uh, a regular heartbeat would be beta blockers. I guess I could preemptively give him something, couldn't I? I don't have that option anymore. I can't give him any other treatments. It either it might be because he's unconscious. But I don't think so. Normally you're able to queue a lot of this stuff up. Anti whatever the heck this word is. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that anytime soon. Well, you're stable at least. Or are you still collapsing? It still says collapsing. Are you dying? A collapsed patient is waiting for bed. There's no free bed. In ICU. Right, there's not. So, I don't know what to do here. Do we send him... Does he need to go to the the high... Uh, what has the density? What is this called? High dependency? Or is he just going to sit here collapsing for a while? Oh, that's awkward. I knew the ICU thing was going to come back to bite me in the butt. We, I just... There's nothing we can do about it. We don't have the money to open up ICU. We'd have to do... I've looked at this before. It's just going to cost way too much money, right? We've got at least... At, at the basic... Okay, you know what? At the basic level, all we need is at least one ICU room. Damn, it's 2900 I'll tell you what. Let's do this instead. Let's mark out the ICU uh, room here. So 6x6 six six or something. What is absolutely required? Oof, a lot of stuff here. 3000 That's not too bad. It's just all these different things are going to add up over time, I think. The fast USG is 8,000. That's going to hurt. Hematology analyzer, life support. Oh, yeah, that's going to break the bank. We almost need one full loan just for the ICU room. So we're not going to be able to do that for a bit. I don't know what this guy's going to have done to him. I honestly don't even know. Are we going to have to send him to another hospital? Uh, yep. Okay, so fair enough. He couldn't get sent to the ICU. So he's going to be sent off to a different hospital, which kind of sucks. So we lost basically 2000 bucks, even though we saved his life. Jerk. <laughs> Not a big deal. That's all right. Uh, where are we at in terms of everything else? We are the middle of the day. What happened to our uh, lovely prestige? Why is it going down so much? 
We're losing prestige and emergency. Is it because it's dirty or something? Let's take a look. Um, no dead patients. Yay! Are you guys happy? You're bored. Well, you're the doctor. You really shouldn't be bored. Uh, the patients have had relatively short waits. Maybe it's just a thing that stacks up during the day. Like, it keeps, it continues to get better and better and better until you reach 100%. So I think emergency is okay. We just had a pretty decent payment come through, so I think we can finally get over to radiology. Maybe put some decorations down so we can improve the radiology um, opinion of us. Stupid, needy radiologists. Put a couple windows in each of these rooms. What else? What other kind of decorations can we fit in here? You know what? Here. Have a plant. Have a lovely flower on your desk. Maybe that'll make you happy. What else can we give you guys here? Um, there's really no room. Does this make this unusable if we put it here? No, I guess it's still usable. We could put a potted plant under all of the, uh, <laughs> all of the screens, I guess. Nice. All right. Uh, is there anything else we can do? There's really no wall space, and there's really no other space around, and I don't think it matters the type of floor uh, you have either. Hey, cool, that changed a nice environment. So, maybe now, because the staff is a little bit happier... What do you mean, ugly environment? It's the same damn environment. <sighs> maybe there's a smidge of dirt somewhere on the floor that I can't see. Whatever, he's just grumpy. You're just never going to be happy, Michael. Hey, awesome. Emergency is now back up to 100% on the, um, whatever you call it, the, um, uh, goodness, the prestige. So we should get a $50,000 grant coming up, which will be very helpful. I don't know what's going to be after cheapo care, eight out of 11, probably a little bit more money. I would love to get some back-to-back -back government grants because then we could look at the ICU and then we could wind up going for ambulances, which I think leads to even more grants. So all this stuff, hopefully, will be snowballing and uh, bringing us more and more money. It seems like the diagnostic room is always used, so I think I'm going to try to move uh, the room next to it so I can shuffle things around. And I love this little move feature, which is kind of helpful. This is just move the room. This is a 6x6, six six, I think. Most rooms are going to be 6x6, six six. so let's move this over one notch, and we'll drop down cardio diagnostic unit here. Cool. Cost us a pretty penny, but... If it's going to help with the workload and diagnose, uh, diagnosing patients, then it's going to be well worth the expense. Hooray, we got our $50,000 grant from reaching 80% prestige for emergency. Also, we got our first heart surgery candidate. Oh no, skipped? What do you mean skipped? Can I requeue this up? Oh, apparently you can queue that back up. Okay, well you're, I mean, it's the middle of the night. No one's going to operate on you anyways. Uh, so we got our $50,000 grant. What is next? Purchase three ambulances, right. So ambulances is going to be this objective. This one's going to be 50 patients, which we might could do if we could get, ever get over that hurdle of like 49 or something. We're really on the edge of that. I'm guessing this will keep trying to come back, the cardiovascular surgery that gets grayed out. It'll keep um, reappearing throughout the day. So we'll uh, spin forward till the morning and try to see if we can't watch the uh, surgery of Jan Peter Jones, open heart surgery right there in OR1. Oh, hey, OR1. I was, like, about to go off into the uh, nether. I forgot all about the fact that you can do something really kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's honestly a small little tiny thing, but still, it's it's nice. Uh, you can label <laughs> the walls of your OR by going into the furniture equipment and then the paint tab. And I guess you could just say this is kind of like general... It's not really general surgery, but that looks like a surgical wing to me. There's no scalpel icon anywhere. But yeah, just if you want to liven up your hospital a bit, especially down in emergency, you can do this with all of your different offices. So you can say this is, you know, this is the um, uh, doctor's office one, two, three, etc. So you can kind of spice things up just a wee bit and make it a little bit more personable. All right, it is morning and the dude with the uh, heart failure is just kind of yoloing out of bed. <laughs> what do you have, Miss Carol Anderson? You have endocarditis. So I think you're just waiting till that eight, sweet 8 a.m. time where you're going to wake up and pay us a crap ton of money. 1600 bucks for keeping you overnight. Lovely. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yay! Hooray! Here we go. Um, hey, look at that. That's actually a very early surgery. Right on the nose at 8 o'clock, we're going to have our first cardio surgery. So, uh, the nurses came in first to prep the room. And as soon as the nurse went to go grab the patient, the actual doctors started to scrub in. So, they'll be joining us in the room. I really like how surgery works. It's kind of cool. The only thing weird is that sometimes the janitor 
will come on through and just start randomly cleaning up in the middle of an operation, which is, oh, just a wee bit awkward. But yeah, hopefully this should be a relatively clean surgery. I like that they're asking. You can see what they're asking for. I'm really quiet. I'm like in silent anticipation right now of what's going on. All right. That looks like it's over with, and I don't know if I guess he's going to be treated. What normally happens after the surgery is apparently they spill blood. <laughs> At least he came in after the surgery. That's nice. So the uh, surgery has been complete. That's what the blue symbol represents. And I'm guessing he's treated. So after one more night of observation, um, he'll head out. Oh, he's actually got more interesting. They did a bit of... What did they just do to him? An EKG again, just to double check. He's hungry. Are you going to bring him food, guys? How's his overall thing? Rough night. I mean, you did pretty much like almost die. He will get his lunch or something around like 8 o'clock at night. So they'll bring him food near his room, I think. What do they keep testing him for? Apparently, they're just going to constantly... I guess that's fair. He just did have open heart surgery. So it would make sense that they observe him throughout the day. Boy, they're just dragging him all over the place. Physical uh, Exam, echo... I guess this is just all part of... Unless they're actually trying to go through the queue. I don't really believe we need anything else. Maybe this stuff was all queued up by one of the previous doctors. I have no idea. This poor guy's getting, like, trounced all over the entire hospital right now. <laughs> just go back to bed. All right, so we got somebody who has no clear diagnosis. Let's go check on him. Elbow bursitis versus golfer's elbow. And we are in ortho, which kind of sucks. So they would need the USG, which is the ultrasound in order to go any further. So, oh wow, we've got a lot. Where did this money come from? Oh, all the grants we had. Mm, you know what? I think I'm just gonna say, let's transfer him out to another hospital because I wanna start putting that money towards repaying our crazy loans. Less loans outstanding means less interest at the end of the day. So we'll use that money there. Uh, how did we do yesterday, by the way? Or I guess today we got 3,400 in surgery uh, bills. We lost a little bit of money in surgery yesterday, or in cardio yesterday, but that's because we just stood up the building, or stood up the department. And I don't think we had too many people ready to go. Uh, patient can't be hospitalized. Yeah, sorry about that. You're going to have to go somewhere else, my friend. But yeah, we'll keep an eye out, see if we can't keep making more money. Hopefully somebody will collapse soon. <laughs> Pretty messed up thing to wish for, but hey, whatever. Oh, middle of the night, Karen Foster has started having a uh, heart failure. So our on-call doctor is on the way. Where's our nurse at to help out? What are you guys doing over here? It's just him right now. Boo, bad nursing staff. Are they um are they coming from like downstairs? Holy why did you come up from all the way down there? Where were you at? You are Are you the actual doctor? You are a doctor. Are you a nurse? No, it's two doctors. So I guess she came up from downstairs. Oh, do we need to have two doctors on overnight staff? I'm not sure if it really matters or not, but she's she's randomly having heart failure. I recently changed the diagnosis requirement. They had given her HHD with heart failure, but what I did was, it's only 20%, so I decided to up the certainty level just for cardio, because I feel like, you know, having the wrong diagnosis here is going to be pretty freaking awful. Like, what if we give someone an IV and they really need surgery or vice versa? So, we'll see if we can't fix that. Uh, heart failure has been suppressed, I guess. I think she's stabilized. Check mark. Check mark means maybe alive. <laughs> Um, boy, it would really be nice to get, because they don't really know what's going on with her. So I do have a couple of things queued up, but there's just no one to give her any kind of, uh, testing done. So we'll have to wait till the morning. Need critical rough night. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe the need critical means that they're waiting for treatment and we're not really giving them what they need. Where are you at? You're sitting here waiting for an MRI. Yeah, I mean... You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's do. Let's hire an overnight MRI person. Just just for the moment. I don't think it's going to break the bank if we do this. So which one's the MRI? Here we go. Let's go ahead and grab somebody for nighttime. Uh, let's get a fast person would be fine. An extra 300 bucks just to help, um, you know, get some patients diagnosed in the middle of the night. That's not that bad of a deal. I'll be okay with that. Because here at Tobel Hospital, we care. We care about them surviving long enough to give us their money. <laughs> I feel like Kelso from Scrubs. Oh, she's collapsing again. Karen Foster twice in one night. She might not make it. 
if she's having this problem so many times in one night, she might have a she might uh, croak here coming up. We really need to get her into the MRI machine. Oh no, our petition, our uh, patient has died. This is the first death. Would a more efficient hospital handle this case better? You know what? You calm down over there. How bad did that hit our prestige? Uh, probably going to knock cardio down a notch. Although, if cardio does really well during the day, it might actually bring... Uh, it might over, you know, overcome the uh, this problem. I mean, cardio patients die all the time, I'm sure. So that is, like, one of the highest reasons of death. So, it is what it is. I'm sorry to say. Awkward. What do we do with the body? Did it just kind of disappear? I didn't even watch where it went. Does this guy need a CT scan now? And it's nighttime? God, you need everything, buddy. It's almost morning, so you'll get your scan here in just a second or two. But yeah, um, that's a bit of a bummer, but we are doing pretty well. Let's take a look at what we made for income yesterday. We did lose the person who was going to pay us a lot of money, which is a bit of a bummer. We didn't do too hot yesterday in terms of income. It was right on, right on the uh, even. It broke even everywhere. I assume it's pretty much random what you're going to be getting uh, from certain departments. So hopefully one of these days we can achieve a 50 treated patient thing. Because that's going to take us into the next insurance step. So we're working towards that. And then after that becomes the ICU and ambulances from there. Okay, so I'm having a bit of a situation with collapsing patients. We're not really able to give them the ICU in order for them to recover. And I feel like I'm losing money uh, because they're getting shipped out to other hospitals. So we've got a couple of loans available. I hate to keep us so close to the edge on the, uh, the income. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, rock it out. We're going to we're going to hit uh, the ICU hard. A small one, just one ICU unit, one random room. Got so much equipment for one dang thing. So we'll put them there. Uh, I think I'll also go ahead and just do the standard on call. This is going to be about 5,000 here and 56. That's so another 10k. Honestly, it's fine. I I could make the room myself, but I'll just deal with it as it is. Although I do want I kind of messed the order up. I want to have the doctors one farther down. And the nurse one right next to it. There we go. Okay. And I'll relocate this just a notch. Am I spending money by just moving them? Dagnabbit. Okay, that's good enough. So, uh, we'll take care of that. We'll also throw down a bathroom and then ICU or... Uh, the uh, Yeah, ICU should be ready to go. So, we'll do a couple more things here. Just the restroom, common room. You guys don't need your own break room. There's like a thousand break rooms. Now, one thing you could always do, by the way, that I've not really done yet, you can share break rooms. And I've I've not really made the hospital the most efficient thing possible. Like we could put a, a break room on, uh, say, the middle floor and have it be shared by like four different departments and they all would come down to use that break room. So it's possible to share break rooms in different areas so you don't have to have dedicated rooms. But by and large at the moment, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, so hospitalization is ready to go. Let's grab a random nurse who has, hopefully, decent quality. I don't want someone to take a break. I like fast, though. Except you're just kind of a brand new nurse. So I don't really want you taking care of patients yet. We'll grab Kate Thomas, and for the doctor, we'll just grab someone who hopefully isn't awful at life. Uh, let's do your traits. That's, uh, I don't really like germaphobe. Dirty feet, I'm not too worried about. Let's grab uh, Joseph Thomas for our doctor. Uh, night time, oh, that's right. We also need night shift as well. Shoot, I hate doing that. Um, there we go. You're going to be good for treating patients. Oh, no. Come back. Night shift, fast learner. Oh, yeah. Rachel Lewis is the one. Night shift or uh, a night owl plus the fast learner is going to be great for us. Right. So ICU is now available. So that should hopefully take care of that. And the other problem I noticed is that we actually don't have enough HDU beds. So at some point soon, like right now, if this room is open, I think green means it's actually being used right now. Who's coming back to this bed? Is someone using the restroom? It's probably this guy here. No, no, no. Oh, we totally had it. Oh, no, you weren't the person. I'm sorry. So you're getting taken down to ICU. Who's the, Where's my ICU person at? The one that just basically coded on me. Are you already down to ICU that fast? Okay, yeah, she is. All right, fair enough. Um, Jane Lewis is collapsing. Was that the same person? No, it's someone who's over here. Uh, of course, we're not going to have enough freaking rooms for all this. We're going to have to put down another uh, ICU room. I wonder how long they have to stay in observation then to be released. 
heart chest pain you have to you already had surgery though you had successful surgery earlier today can i change this or is it just going to be crap that's mary miller who's just having non-stop heart failure but look how much money she would have given up if she lived <laughs> that's brutal ah uh... One other symptom. I think the symptom is causing blinking icon signals that one or more symptoms can cause collapse. So once we save her, I think we need to figure out what the hell is happening with her. Let's do a physical exam, blood pressure, and an urgent echo. If we can stabilize her, then maybe we'll be able to treat the symptom that keeps causing her to collapse. Although I think two or three heart failures and they're pretty much done. Uh, you collapsed and we don't have anywhere to put you. Which kind of sucks. Let's also do a little bit of heart monitoring, I guess. I hate that. I hate losing money. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, I should say, you know, I, I care about our patients, but honestly, I just want their wallets. Got bills to pay, you guys. All right. We'll see if she's able to um, survive this. And if she is, we'll hopefully get all the uh, requirements to figure out what this hidden symptom is that's causing her so much trouble. Okay, there we go. So we got an ir irregular uh, heartbeat. So I'm going to give her beta blockers. Hopefully, that might suppress the symptom that's causing the collapsing. And so by doing that, we should be able to get her out of here because we already had the successful treatment. Hey, we finally were able to get that stupid objective met. Uh, what's next for us on uninsured? Purchase two ambulances. So yeah, ambulances are our next big thing coming up. So it's pretty much just... Um, Waiting for our income to come in from the bank or from all of our open surgeries and whatnot. I hope we're not too far behind in everything else. You seem to be stable now. Are we? Can we transfer you back up to HDU? Patient is already hospitalized at a higher or similar priority ward. You can try changing the department. Okay. So if you're stable, can I send you back up to... Oh, I can't even do this. Interesting. So I guess she has to stay here. Until this, whatever this happens to be, this particular treatment is completed. Fair enough. Good to know. I really want that paycheck, though. 3500 bucks is not too shabby. What else is going on in our lovely department? I meant to switch the rooms out when I could. We, we did run out of HDU rooms, so I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to have regular wards down here and high dependency unit rooms up here because it's a little bit closer between the doctors and the nurses. I should be able to do this. We can probably... How much does an HDU cost 4500 so we should be able to trash this room uh four by six get some equipment back and then buy the hdu yep that should work out and then eventually once i get more money i'll replace this room with an hdu and we should have enough spots for people i actually had somebody who needed heart surgery or cardio surgery and there were no open hdu beds so they weren't able to get in there i might even have to re uh, re kind of reassess how i've been doing a lot of my uh, my layout, right? So what would we want to do? I could move all of the diagnostic stuff down into a different area. Like all the diagnostic stuff could go up here. The ORs could go over here. And then this entire section can be nothing but rooms and nursing, nursing stations. And that might be the best route to go. It, it really depends on how many patients get sent to us is, is what it's going to come down to long term. But that's why I was trying to aim ahead. Uh, in case we wind up getting quite a few people being sent to our specialty departments. But fun times. Let's go ahead and skip through the evening and hope that no one dies on our watch again. All right, it's early morning, and I think uh, Mary Miller made it through the night, thankfully. Lovely way to go, Mary. Way to push through, my friend, with your lovely beta blockers and whatnot. So I think because the surgery is completed, maybe? Nope, that was the 8 o'clock bell, so I guess she didn't get released. Oh, she's actually moving down a step. So she's being transported back up to cardio. Now uh, it looks like we misdiagnosed somebody here. See, that's what I was talking about before. The, between cubital tunnel and tunnel, tennis elbow, they seem to always get it mixed up. Oh, I lost my Mary. Where'd she go to? Uh, she's probably right here. Mary Miller. There we go. So Mary Miller is what? She's going to be observed for probably a part of the day, or at least until the anal analgesics and beta blockers rub off. I think she's pretty much done because we have done the surgery. The blue represents surgery that's completed. So she's good to go. Um, Karen Lopez had, holy crap, 
$4,600 was your uh, your thing. I think I need to go ahead and do... Oh, she's actually got everything queued up already. All of her exams are all queued up. I want to see what this final symptom is. This is what can sometimes cause you problems. Because if, you, if you've treated the overall diagnosis problem, the dilated cardiomyopathy, they still might have a symptom that's going to cause them to collapse. So you kind of have to be proactive, I think, in some cases. Oh, just another casual evening with people dying right now downstairs in the intensive area. Um, I was curious about something. This person was queued up for renal vascular surgery, and it looks like it failed because it took too long to, to go through, but I'm kind of curious. Oh, there it goes. Actually, it triggered as soon as there was an available nurse. So it was kind of grayed out, like it had, it had taken them too long, but I didn't have to do anything. They just basically picked it up and went with it. So that means we don't have to micro things too badly. Where's my little friend at that was dying? Are you still alive? You are. Hooray. Congratulations. Um, pericarditis is treated with IV, which you're getting right now. In, in Okay, so you're getting that in the ICU. Is there any other symptom that we can check? What's the symptom that we seem to be missing here that's causing you to collapse? There's actually not really much, if anything. Oh, palpitations maybe. But beyond that, I think we're okay with her. She just kind of randomly had heart failure while she was down here in observation. So... Um, I don't know. Here's to hoping everything's working out right. Let's take a, take a quick look at the money before we wrap up the episode. Uh, yesterday, kind of a meh day, and I did have to hire some more people, remember, recently. And I did put some more people on the night shift in radiology, so we are losing a bit of money from that. And I'm not super pleased with how little we're making every day, but hopefully maybe in the next couple days we'll get some surgeries that are, um, that get finished up. God, really? We just made no money off of, um, surgery whatsoever. That's a bit of a bummer. Well, we'll let it run for a few days. And if things are not looking great, I'll trim back the fat again on the, you know, hiring, how many people we've hired, and hopefully try to let surgery make us a bit more cash. Thanks so much for joining me, my friends. As always, my name is Tobel. Take care.